Mook got boom. Yo, you fucking with Mook G, nigga, and there's seven questions in a session, nigga, with my nigga Caddy, nigga. Tune in, nigga. Tap in. This road is Gene Shows. They cut at the bottom, I can see more. I want you to be great at this time, cool. The front cool, but let me in through the back door. She gon' pop it like a tire. Ass got them stress marks, she a tiger. For the right price, my nigga, you could buy her. That pussy biting when you hit it, it's a viper. Say mook when I hit it, let me know that it's real. Say juice when I hit it, come and get a refill. I heard you ain't buy that shit, you man. You are now watching seven questions in a session. Today I got the one Mook G up in here, man. Shout out. And you already know we finna get into this interview. First thing first, go follow our sponsors, Billionaire Hemp Wraps. Treat your lungs better. Uh, Spray 420, best cardio deodorizer out here. And eight off the bone, men's and female oils. Come get you some so you get you some. Man, appreciate you for coming on the show, man. man, man. You, I had to, bro. I man. like what you're doing. Man, I appreciate that, bro. You been tearing shit up yourself, bro. Mm. Bro, so the first question I always ask everybody, bro, just to get into the interview, bro. How did you come up with your rap name and be like, that's what I'm sticking with, bro? Uh, Mookie is a childhood nickname, family. You know what I'm saying? I've been Mookie since I was like two, bro. It was a family nickname. I was embarrassed by it growing up. You know how kids is. Mookie Dookie and all that little <laughs> stupid shit, right? I hated my nickname, bro. I hated it. But... When you start going to school with family members, bro, because, you know, I'm I'm my government at school, and then you got family there, and they calling your nickname. Everybody, oh, my, that's your name. And then everybody call you that. So Mook kind of, as I got older, I'm like, you know, Mookie, Mook, Mook G. And I was Mookie G. I added the G to it, bro, because I started playing with what different meanings it could be. But I was like, you know what I'm saying? I'm Mook. Everybody know me. You know, everybody know me from that since I was a kid. That been my nickname. I just kept it type shit. Bro, when it comes to the music, bro, what made you get off end to, to rapping, bro? What made you be like, that's what I'm finna rap with, bro? Oh, I'm a music baby. Let's get that out the way. You know, parents, RP, my mom, you know what I'm saying? And my dad, he is a, my dad did everything I'm doing, but just in the 90s and 80s, you know what I'm saying? My dad, DJ, did this rap, did everything, but. So music been pumped in my household since I was a kid. So it's just kind of like, so then it's like, you know, I was the kid. I didn't watch cartoons. I watched BT. You know what I'm saying? I was watching MTV. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was that kid. I watched music videos. So I just grew up doing it, trying it, doing this, but I ain't take it seriously. Like recording. I was 17. 17. 17. What was your what was that first song sounding like, bro? Trap. <laughs> Cause you gotta think about it. My nigga Jay, shout out my nigga Jarvis, bro. He had a setup. Everybody that's first started rapping is a setup, nigga. Your nigga got a computer, your nigga get a mic. That's all we got. You know what I'm saying? So the mixing part, you know, ad libs coming out of one ear. It's too loud. I'm peeking. It's distorted. It's oh, just like man. all that. I went through that, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, bro, shit, we recording. That's how we looked at it, shit. You can't tell us nothing, but I'm recording. As long as, long as you get the shit did oh, at the time. No like, oh, bullshit, bro. <laughs> so that first track, bro, I probably freestyled it. Matter of fact, I did freestyle it. It was a sound click beat. I don't know if y'all know what sound click is, but that's a website where you could just take niggas' beats that, Basically, producers around the world upload beats and they put their tags all through them. Oh, I like it. So you just snatch it and make your song out of it, but it might be a nigga like, hey, or, hey, or, and screaming all through his oh, shit. Do it. <laughs> you don't care. You don't care. You took his shit. You, you just need beats to rap on type shit. So I, it was one of them and shit, bro. Freestyle, no writing type shit, just to hear me. Man, I was like, damn, that's what I sound like coming through some speakers. I'm like, damn, that's recorded. Like, that's like the first time getting high. Mm-hmm. Bro, they be, they be that feeling, bro. Like, that first time getting high. I swear to God, bro. I fell in love. I was like, bro, bro, I'm doing this. We doing this. What what song would you say it was that you found your style on, bro? And you'd be like, this my style, bro. Ooh. Straight. 
streets. What you think, my nigga? Uh, style, I, style, go, style go, go. Okay, well, because, shit. I mean, I look at it like, you know, he was on the versatile shit. He listened to like a lot of lyrical lyrics is going up. So it's like, for him, for me, like, when he saying the shit was bullshit, see, I came in on his YouTube when he was already cold to me. You know what I'm saying? So to answer that question, it's like, he already had his flow. He already knew what he wanted to do. He wanted to put bars in his shit. If his shit was some club shit, he wanted bars in his shit. His lyrics gotta make sense. Like, he coming from the cadence, the, you know, the topics, so all that shit. So I feel like, I, um, what would be the song that I mean, came like that everybody, song? I mean, for I, me, okay, look, everybody. I say, I say this. I say this, bro. I say this. The recognition influenced and got heightened when I did Dummy Ass, right? With my, and, and I'm and I'm only gonna say that because everybody that knew I rapped or heard me rap ain't heard me everywhere. I come from like nigga when you rap nigga, you only closer people play it and like it, and that's who you making your music for. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody around you hear it, it don't really get to the main public. But dummy ass put me to the public on the highest level because Munch got big money and shit out. Bro, you know what I'm saying? You, bro, if you can see, I got it wrote down right here, bro. No, no, bro. bro. Speaking of that song, bro. Yeah. Do you consider that a Milwaukee classic? Oh no, hands down, bro. Hands down. I, cause I, I do, bro. Hands down, bro. We can't even just we can't even act like it ain't, bro. We can't. It is one of them ones, bro. That when you talk about our city and put this on and everybody know it, react to it, uh, the reactions since it is one of them, bro. It goes with the ones, bro. It do. I think I got a plaque off of it, bro. And I done ain't gotta be a good, bro. Bro, like, I want to say, bro, like, what, what's your goals with the music shit right now, bro? Like, like, and, and like today? Yeah. Today, the goal is to enhance my life and my kids' life. Bro. I feel like I'm good enough to make a decent amount of money that change shit, bro. That's, that's the goal. This, this, the, the way niggas is living, bro, niggas maintain here in Milwaukee. We do us, you know what I'm saying? Niggas figure it out. But when you got a gift or a skill set that could, that could take this life you live into another, I feel like I possess that, bro. That's the goal. And I ain't going to stop until I get to another level of living, bro. Dude. That's what I, that's the goal, bro. That's the goal. Bro, on your personal YouTube, bro, yeah. you got 500,000 views, bro, just about. Mm. Like, are you satisfied with that? Mm. Like, no. But it is, an, it's, 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 it's. I, I feel like coming from Milwaukee, bro, that's an accomplishment, bro. Yeah, no. Bro, a lot of artists don't even see that. No, nah, bro. I, I'm definitely grateful. And damn, that's crazy. I didn't even, you just put me on. I never really. Yeah, I went I to never, go, yeah, I went to go there. <laughs> yeah, bro. bro, I ain't never really tap into that like that because I really. That bro, and that, and I just say that's why I said on your personal YouTube, bro. Because yeah. if you if you add up like other shit, bro, other like shit that I'm on, yeah, bro, it's it's, it's well over millions, yeah, bro, like, yeah. No bullshit, no bullshit. Nah, bro. Um, it's def. I'm grateful. I appreciate <laughs> everything, bro. I ain't I ain't even gonna say it like that. But at the same time. When you start figuring out the business side, and you know what you really doing, and you know what it, how it all add up, hell no, I ain't satisfied. They don't talk about that though. Mm -hmm. It's a number game, Definitely. but the real to it, they don't talk about it. They just, it's just oozing eyes off numbers, but they ain't, they ain't telling you what's what, what's worth what, what's a stream, how much you really accumulate and all that. Now, once you start realizing like, damn, I did all of that, but it only did that, look at it different. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna put you on a spot here for a second, okay. bro. Okay, go ahead. Top five MK Milwaukee club song makers, bro. Like and, artists? Yeah, you can clue yourself. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. It's more than five. It's definitely more than it's five. It's more than five. To say a top, 
would discredit somebody that shouldn't be discredited. I'm not doing that, bro. I'm telling you, I'm beyond. This is this is this is this is this is my this my real God honest opinion, my nigga. I'm not doing that, bro. It ain't just fire. That's the real. It ain't just fire, my nigga. It ain't, bro. It's a lot of them too, bro. We gotta we gotta credit a lot of shit when we talk about who been smack clubs, bro. Mm. Who who people get people turned when this record come out. Yeah. We gotta, we got, we cannot discredit nobody with no file list, bro. Cause it's some niggas here that did some shit before and after me. Probably shit I ain't even heard of. So like, no, my no, list no. would be like, when he probably be accurate and shit. You know what I mean? Like, be based off what you personally know. Yeah. yeah. No, nigga. But see, that's the thing. I do my homework. I'm all in this shit, bro. Like I don't play around, bro. I know about just about, bro. I do this shit, bro. <laughs> right. Seeing that you you do do a lot of shows around the city, bro, do you feel like the club promoters respect your grind, bro? Because I hear a lot of shit about them not wanting to pay Milwaukee artists correctly, bro. Oh, this is a great question, my nigga. Oh, this is a great question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he snapped. Okay, look. And we being 100, nigga, I worked to get to where I'm at to get the respect that I got. So I don't really deal with issues now, but prices go up. And when prices go up, they 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 double dutch with you. Cause now they trying to be cheap with you. But if I wasn't from here and I was that other nigga, they cashing them out. No so that's bags. so that that part, yes. They gonna double dutch with the local artists. Even if we don't even want half of what you finna get, dog. Probably a third. It's probably a third. Yeah, like what I'm asking for ain't shit compared to what y'all willing to pay. That's where the logic is lost. It's like, damn, my nigga, y'all be tripping over this. So that's a real thing, my nigga. But if you who you, if you showed and proved your real worth, you didn't pack shit, you didn't got paid and motherfuckers came out, they treat you different. It's a little different. And the crazy thing is, bro, if a local artist pack your club, they gonna make more off of that night than they is spending their money on the industry artist, bro. bro so no. I feel like they should hey. be willing to nigga to be pacing no, your local artist. Listen, bro, bro I'm gonna pack one, your club out. Bro, I'm gonna be one hundred, bro. I'm gonna just lose use this as an example because you right. Nigga, me me and my bro Steve the Stoner, nigga, me and him did Oasis one night. Just me and him. We got booked. Just me and him. Bro, they was whacking double the norm, and it was filled. Just me and Steve. And I'm not capping, nigga. No bullshit, nigga. Like, you would have thought. Now, promoters could be like, my nights do this regardless. They could say that. This motherfucker smack every Saturday, period. Friday, period. Sunday, period. Whatever day. Promoters could be like, regardless, nigga, you can't take credit for that because we got, but, but, yes, we can. Because tonight, we here. See you. We here. Bro, we here. It's real shit, bro. This just what it is. You can say that, but we can't use tonight because we here. Really? So, it's just, it's, it's a tricky game, bro. But we come from a small city, so you got to understand everybody grind, everybody trying to eat. I get it. But y'all got to, got to, got to respect, the artists, respect the artists, man. Y'all got to, man. There's nothing else to say. It's not nothing to debate about. We shouldn't have to tussle. You playing me three, four, five, six, seven times a night. Pay me, man. A couple extra dollars, man. Stop, pay me, man. Stop being stingy with the pay artists, me, man. man. Especially the local artists pay me, right man. now. Pay these niggas, bro. The city is probably the best musically it's being right now. Like when we I say that with so many artists that's we, buzzing, bro. Like no bullshit. It's a lot of nigga Milwaukee. This is the best army in, in my opinion. It's the best we been. All right, bro. So I had Reggie Brown out here a couple weeks ago, bro, mm -hmm. and he said you was one of his favorite artists, bro. Straight up. Straight up, bro. He named you, he named Steve, and he named Munch. Y'all y'all was did one of his three favorite artists from here. That's my hey, I recently, you know, 
I recently had my tie in to Reggie. He do his thing at Walker's on Thursdays. You know what I'm saying? So I was up in there. He showed plenty of us. So I can, I definitely can understand him saying that because he told me that. You know what I'm saying? So he ain't lying. For real, for real, bro. Bro, if you had to look at the camera, bro, and tell him one of your songs to go look at a person never heard you before, what song would it be? Mm. You never heard more. Go to go listen to more. Just one though, bro. Just what? Just what? Damn. No, no, no matter what, they gonna they gonna go down the rabbit hole, bro. If they like you, they gonna go down the rabbit hole, bro. But if if you had to introduce them to you, what song would it be? Ooh. If you ain't never heard a move, and I'm and a nigga trying to put you on move, what do you get that nigga? That's tough, bro. Cause all the, cause it's different moves. It's like, what type of fan is you? That's the real thing. So based off who you is or what you looking for, I got it. It's just, what do I give you? Undeniably, hands down across the board, no matter what you into, what would I give that fan? That's tough, my nigga. Cause I could give you a club banger and that ain't your vibe and it throw you off of me. And you I got to think about it for real, bro. <laughs> no bullshit. Yeah, I, I did, bro. Damn, streets. What I'll you listen to? Mook bad. You would say Mook bad? No, because it's too many. <laughs> and it's like you know what I'm saying. Like that damn. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say it, so, bro? It's songs that I'm finna say. It's like man, bro, no, like, man. Mm-hmm. Listen, listen to beat man. And right now, listen to be greater, man. Give him, a, give him a side. side you know, be greater. A, a, B, be great. Be greater. We can just do that. If you want, listen. Side A, side B to that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, but I'm then, just, but then, just, then just you could go champ. move back. You could go champ. You could go top tier. Yeah, yeah. If you really yeah. care about a nigga bar and skill set, I got that shit where I'm going. So it's just like what you want to do. With girl records, soft shit, you know what I'm saying? Hard shit. Man, it's all type of shit, but it's just like, what type of fan is you? But what I'm known for is the clubs. So, like, pick, be great, be greater, all of them. Pick one, you know. I'm on Show Out with J-Bang. I'm on Dummy Ass with uh, Munch Lauren. I got, me and Frank got, motherfucking, where is that? That's another one. I got these other joints with people. Me and Steve got Go Up. We got Steve is... That's who my. I don't even mean to cut this question short, then, because look, bro, you've been <laughs> reading my fucking mind this whole interview, bro. That's that Gemini shit, dog. <laughs> like, I was gonna ask you about Steve, bro, because y'all be dropping some dope ass music together, bro. I was at y'all music shoot the other day, yeah, just to see how everybody came out, just to show y'all love, bro. Yeah. It was like that was one hundred. Yeah. But the question I was gonna ask you about Steve, bro. Is y'all niggas gonna do a tape together, bro? Bro, that's like the number one thing me and this nigga get asked. Yes, 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 yes. We got to. We got to. That's my brother, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't fake relationships with music. It'll show. You know who sent the verse in versus who was in the studio together. If you fuck with music for real, you can hear the song. You be like, y'all, them niggas was together when they made that. Like Khaled Records, you know Khaled had the artists with him in there. They yeah. did when they are like because it sound like that. You know what I'm saying? Now a nigga like Drake might send the verse in it, but the song done. Who cares? You probably wasn't there, but the core of the record, the hook, and the part you can feel it. Like me and Steve, you could tell we we together. He ain't just send me that. You know what I'm saying? We just did like, and I really feel like that's the best type of music. I I got some some dope ass behind the scene footage of that video shoot too. You do? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say for the end of the summer, this little shit I'm gonna put together, bro. I gotta see that. I got some dope ass footage, uh, yeah, you know, I gotta bro. see that, bro. Are you starting to get a lot of out of town love, bro? Yes, I am. I am. It, it's traveling. It been traveling though. But what's happening now is that with it traveling, I'm finding out about it. I wasn't finding out about it. Is that you'll be surprised how many people listen to you that you don't know about, bro, with this internet shit, bro. Swear to God, you would never know. 
you'll never know unless you start really keeping up with it and finding out and tapping into your algorithms and all that shit and really see who playing what. Bro, I got some out of town plays, bro. I done got some videos sent from a lot of places, bro. And they'd be like, damn, on what? But that's part of this shit, too, bro. You got to move around. You got to travel. Bro, you had, to go spend, you had to go spend your money today, bro. What yeah. cameraman you going to shop with? <laughs> One video on the line. Milwaukee cameraman. Who you going to shop with? And there's no disrespect to the ones he don't pick. But see, but that's the thing. Because if I don't say you, you're going to feel away. I understand how this shit go. But, because I got relationships with all of them. So it's like, who will you get your money to? What you're looking for. Me personally, if I could tie, if I could tie Beyond and Ray together, that'd be the person. But that ain't a person. So it's like, who faster? Who gonna give it to you quicker? You start nitpicking. Who gonna be this? Who got it? Come down to that. But them the two though. <laughs> it's them two niggas. It just depends on what you want. But beyond don't miss. I I don't see beyond that nigga. Beyond don't miss that nigga, bro. Hey, hey, right. hey. We done did. I'm waiting on that. Now, what you talking about, you got. Yeah. I'm waiting to see what that look like. Because I only fuck with him. I only fuck with him one time. Matter of fact, bro, I got my computer. Before we leave, let me I'll show you some okay, shit. Okay, okay. Pay me. The one me and Steve just did at the picnic. He just did oh, that. Yeah, yeah. We waiting on that. I checked the fucking day. Though. But look, Ray did move back. Yeah. Nah. I was supposed to be at that thing, you know. Since, 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 since my man's talking, bro, what mode is you in, bro? A lot of people doing YouTube beats and just like, fuck it, I'll deal with the bullshit later if it blow up, bro. Do you, do you fuck with the YouTube beats or do you got a producer you like? I have head? my brother T yeah, Streets no. beats. That's who has my, that's who, who do my, everything you probably ever heard from me, <laughs> he probably did it. No bullshit. Yes, I can rap on other people's beats. Yes, I have the other people beats. Yes, I have other songs. But if we talking majority, it's T Streets. And it works amazing because it's my brother. You know what I'm saying? So like blood can make us in class. I know this nigga since first grade. That's what six, five, six years old. Mm -hmm. That's how far we go back. So it's like, that's my brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have a long lasting friend that long in life. I don't know nobody that long that ain't my family, bro. And he do my music. Bro, that's just like a perfect match, man. Yeah, bro. It, you can't ask for a better situation. You really will want, it's kind of like how people be having their parents as their managers. You know what I'm saying? If you real close with your mama and she manage everything, bro, it works out. You real close with your pop. You want that type of you want people around you that you you genuinely know, so money won't fuck nothing up. Cause nigga, we've we've had nothing together. So if we have everything together, what would change, bro? You can't really you know what I'm saying? Like that's how we look at it. That's how we've been looking at it. That's how we move. He get my. Outlook on this whole shit. We have a mutual. We have the same goal, bro. Like, no man, no bullshit. Yo, it's Luke G. Tap in on YouTube, man. Steven Stoner and Luke G go up. Produced by T Street Speech. Fuck with it. Before the fame came, me and Steve back.
the back, Lee and Carter, niggas. What you mean, Lee and Carter? Rush out, nigga. I watch bro run it up off the powder, nigga. And nigga still made time to be father, nigga. Can't nobody take this shit from the real. The bitch think I'm Jesus yelling, move, grab the wheel. How they playing me more than niggas with a deal? I've never been a hater, I've seen too many get killed, yeah. Hey, yo, this Milwaukee motherfucker, you could die quick, hey. Put you in the lake, make the news, go fish, hey. Don't ask what I got, this ain't go fish, hey. She done seen me blow racks, so she blow dick, hey. Hey, your new fiance, that's my old bitch. You don't really know that hoe, she a cold bitch, hey. If it's juice with the stoner, boy, we won't miss. We the ones, you got them other numbers, bitch. We the ones that gon' make it go up. All them guns that you got, who gon' bust, my nigga? All the hoes in the club, they want up. So fresh, I can't even be touched, my nigga. You ain't single no more, but so what? Just because she got a butt, my nigga All the hoes in the club, they gon' fuck We the ones that's gon' make it go up Yo, this is Old Caddy Chris, man and This is a quick break from this interview To let y'all know to please subscribe Like the channel, man Tell your people to follow Tell your girl to follow Tell your mans to follow, man Get us some subscribers Get us some followers Share an interview Yeah, right here You see it, seven questions in a session Instagram YouTube, Facebook. You can follow my personal page at Caddy CEO underscore Chris. Follow the channel. Seven questions in a session. Back to this interview. Got me feeling like a motherfucking real. Yeah. Like it's my birthday weekend. It is birthday weekend. Gemini yeah. is what they do, man. Yeah. Gemini shit, man. We got a bad rep for whatever reason, man. Well, we like the best people in some of everybody life, though, bro. No matter how y'all feel about us, bro. You like some you, of the best you people love a like gen. You got one you love. You me. know you do. I care who you is. Right, where was I? Uh, bro, did you surprised, bro, that that showing out still getting spins everywhere like two years later? Show out? Nah, bro. I ain't surprised. Nope. You know why? Because I knew it when I did it. Bro. Every time you just step out somewhere, bro, that shit come on and be like, bro, this is like this one of the ones, bro. Like, That's another one, bro. That's a Milwaukee classic. Me and Jay did the IA, bro. And nigga, to be 100, let's just say it. For a nigga, Jay, y'all gotta give it to Jay. On the simple fact that this is his first song, and it did that. He got Mooji on his big first single. Nobody knew a nigga. Boom, he come out gay swing like that with one of them. Niggas don't do that, bro. Y'all gotta, y'all cannot act like. Regardless of how you feel, why you like it, who did, like whatever. Fuck all that. The facts are what the song did and what it is, bro. We cannot dispute it. Niggas don't come out gay like that. But at the same time, niggas don't come out gay and get a Mooji either. You know what I'm saying? And that don't just happen either. So it's how the, it's how shit lined up, bro. You gotta respect it at the end of the day. That's a organic that's a that's a that, that song, bro. You don't just get that, bro. Oh, <laughs> you don't get one of them, bro. Bro. It's one in the morning, you by yourself, bro. What gas station you not stopping at, bro? Sherman and Cap. <laughs> Let's just be one and I'll give a fuck. We ain't doing that. <laughs> it's in my whole life. I mean, that's one of them. One. And then we could say 27 and Burlap, but Burlap family, I don't be willing to do that. I don't really like to just say that, but we know what that is, too. Yeah, really. Don't don't stop on 27 and Burlap, bro. You ain't that's if you don't know your way around. You don't know there, what you're doing, my nigga. That's one of them ones, too. Yeah, bro, hands right. down. One person from the city, one person from the industry that you haven't worked with yet that you want to, bro. Like, period? Or are you talking about period. locally? One person from the city. Oh, one person from the city. One person from the industry. <clears throat> from the city, one person I ain't work with that I want to work with. All of y'all. <laughs> all of y'all. If you serious. Y'all yeah, yeah. all rap. Everybody rap. Let's talk about this real quick. I'm gonna make it quick, but it's a big it's a yeah, big discussion. Right, Everybody rapping, man. We all rap. Your brother, uncle, sister, cousin, baby daddy, co-worker, classmate. 
your child teacher rap. Everybody rap, right? Who, what differentiate us all is who's serious? Who does what? There's levels to it. It's niggas that hoop at the park, then it's the niggas that practice with the UWM players. Then it's the NBA. No, before the NBA, it's the A and one. Then it's the NBA. It's like levels of it. Like you all, everybody hoop, but do you hoop? Can you get in that gym with dog? No, you can't. Shut up. That's what it's gonna get to. Because it's too many of us now. So, so if I'm talking about who I want, I want to work with people that take it as serious as me. And not nobody that's chasing likes and numbers and trying to compete with dog because somebody's got a passion for you. Passion, bro. Do you care that this gift you got can provide things, my nigga? Do you understand that? Because you know how to do something, it could change everybody's life. Do you understand that? That's who I want to work with. If you understand that, everybody, nigga, whoever feel like that. Because this shit a little different for me. A little different for me. And now as far as globally, celebrity-wise, a lot of them niggas seem to be coming out as weird, my nigga. It's like, it's a lot of weird shit going on. Real, real. These people don't be who they say they is. and It's a lot of ratting and all that. So it's like, <sighs> scared I'm scared to work with any of these people, bro. You say you say you want to do a song with dude, you didn't really want to do the song with dude. Later, you never know what come out about this, man. It's too late. So, celebrity wise, I go off vibes in person. Who I met that can, you know what I'm saying? Because now, nigga, they cheating anyway. And these niggas gonna be writing and all type of shit, niggas. It, they just be just, they do the most yeah, now. Paying for, for all type of shit. You could be, you got some money, nigga. You could be a superstar. It's just what it is. So, mm mm. Uh, fuck it. Yeah. Best weed you ever smoked, where it come from? Mm. I don't know where it came from, but I'm going to assume Chicago. Ooh. First. And I'm saying that because it was cheetah piss. Ooh. <laughs> Woo. Great, 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 great strain, my nigga. Not gonna lie to you. And then, nigga, in my younger, younger days, niggas had some Afghan Kush, AK 47, some Afghan hybrid shit that before it resigned, all this shit we smoking that was in. That shit fuck my shit <laughs> up, nigga. What? Shout out my nigga Rashad, bro, because he had it. You know what I'm saying? That's we talking about many, many years ago. That's not even incriminating nobody. He know what the fuck going on. But niggas had that. That was some great shit. Other than that, bro, now it all blends together. I just know good weed, bro. I smoke, so it's just like for real, for real. Like, you can't play with me with that shit. Bro, well, this part of the interview, bro, I always say the camera on you, bro. Let everybody know what you got dropping next, your social media, where they can find you, your shout outs, the camera on you, bro. All right. Uh, I am underscore T H E underscore G on Instagram. That's the main platform you should follow me at. Mook G YouTube channel on YouTube. That's where you find my music, anything that I drop. Of course, it's going to be other features and other shit I do that might be on videographer's channel, the other artist channels. But me, it's Mook G, Mook Space G, M O O K G on YouTube. I'm going to pop right up. Subscribe. Fuck with me. Project like 90% done. I got a few songs to do when we done. Streets did damn near 90 Eight percent of it, like it's over with. We did it again. We died. We got about it. We in the fourth ring. Yeah, bro. We finna drop on y'all head again. And then in the midst of that, what time is it? Summertime. Y'all don't know what y'all gonna get. I might just get the drop and shit just because it's summer, and y'all finna be outside and y'all need new shit. I know what that shit about. We finna do that too. It's a lot of shit coming. Me and Steve got our shit coming. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my bro Steve the Stoner. That's Steve. another one. One of the realest people I've ever met, my life. Appreciate you for coming through and doing an interview too, bro. No bullshit. Appreciate it. No, I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, shit. That's you too. I was I was telling Steve that too, but I appreciate you for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no bullshit, bro. I appreciate like I like what you're doing. I love this platform, bro. I seen your clips, but now that's another thing too, you know, with content. Now that's what everybody wanna do. So you can get lost and who doing what, but you stood out and it's really because it be you and the person. And it's like so just straight. Me as a content person, that's what I want. I appreciate that one. You know what I'm saying? Because just think about it, my nigga. The person you give a fuck about is sitting there directly answering a question that that you give a fuck about. Oh, real, bro. And you seeing the nigga like because they doing this interrogation room ass shit where yeah. the nigga, the <laughs> nigga, talking, say, the nigga that's <laughs> not the nigga that's asking you everything you don't see. What? Bro, that's what I always say. I'm gonna sit here, bro, because I just don't want to feel like no police. Bro, that <laughs> shit, police. No, sit right here in front of this camera and talk to the camera, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be where bro at, and <laughs> you just finna answer me, bro. What? Why you ain't on this motherfucker? Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I just looked at that alone, but I'm a content nigga, bro, because I be on that net, nigga. I keep up with shit because I treat myself like I'm in it. You know what I'm saying? That's how I act. I act like I'm in this shit, bro. Bro, and I, I appreciate you for coming, bro, because shit, nigga, I asked you once, bro, and we said we was going to link, nigga. I texted you the other day, and it's like, shit, let's do it, let's do it. Like, So, like, I, I respect, bro. Like, I definitely respect that. And yeah, man, this is my first interview. I done got through a little tipsy, man. Mm. I usually don't drink while I do this, but yeah. it's the Gemini weekend, man. Yeah. Gemini shit, man. man. Sorry, the weekend. Yeah. Appreciate y'all for watching the show, man. I'm your woke Caddy Chris, man. Uh, again, go follow our sponsors, Billionaire Hand Wraps. Treat your lungs better. Uh, Spray 420, best cardio deodorizer out here. Eight off the bone, men's and female oils. Come get you some so you can get you some. And uh, come on, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. Get us a, up to a 1,000 subscribers. So Run him up, We man. can make a couple dollars off this shit, man. This shit be all out of my pocket, man. So, like. Support your own. Yeah. So. Come on the show. I'm Chop. <laughs> Follow me on the ground. Uh, and we out of here, man. Look. All right. Yo, it's Mook G, man, and you watch the seven something. Good about Webby. Good thing about Webby. Good thing about Charlotte Begay. Bro, he said that shit like a hundred times. Uh, All right, like, bro. <laughs> hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Seven questions. 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 Like, I personally need to go <laughs> from the wrong shit to this shit. Bro, bro, bro. Bro, edit. Bro, bro, come on. All right, it's still recording. Oh, guys, roll. Yo. Yeah. They cut at the bottom, I can see more. Yeah. I want you to be greater this time, cool. Uh, the front cool, but let me in through the back door.